This year, how has um how has COVID impacted your business? I saw one oh one of your vis- videos. You actually been crushing it this year. Yeah, Put out a video back in July, I think you did ninety k the first half of the year. I'm sure it's yeah. like, I'm sure you're still crushing it. It's crazy because um, I think it was March before it even hit. Right before it hit, mm-hmm. um, <laughs> that whole week, Etsy was had the lowest amount of sales of all time. They mm-hmm. hit a record low, like when it was announced that like COVID is a thing now and like everybody yeah, yeah, yeah. would be scared. Uh, they had a record low and I was basically in my apartment freaking out. So I was like, this is literally everything. This is my whole yeah, business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a lot of people were, a lot of people were in the same boat. Right. Um, right. And I was even texting my mom. I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I have no <laughs> other option. I'm moving back in mom. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, like a, uh, an early thirties crisis now. Um, no, luckily that didn't happen. Um, by the next week, it was like people immediately went stir crazy and started shopping online. And I was like, wait a minute, sales are really picking up now. Uh, so I started thinking of different ways I could build new products and, and create more hype around certain things. And um, it worked really well. <laughs> and mm. uh, I think between, let's see, April and July, I did um, 93000 dollars in revenue wow. just from one Etsy shop. Uh Amazing. so that was wild and it was so nice. Like I feel mm-hmm. so blessed to not have to have uh have had those struggles that a lot of people have had to go through. I, yeah, I yeah. realize how lucky I've been. Um no. and then e commerce just continued to explode from there. It was right. it was crazy mm-hmm. to watch. Now was this store was this separate was it a different store from your rave rave show or um oh, the, the raving same. Raving. Yeah, Leave so Raven Festival. So Same within, store? You were doing yeah, like virtual raves? <laughs> no, within that one, I sell a lot of like trendy stuff that you can wear every day. You know, I sell hoodies. I sell mm-hmm. uh, oh, all sorts I of a variety got, of things. Got it, got it. So I, I never sold like tassel sequins gotcha. or anything like that. It was always just like super trendy stuff that you could wear if you're a trendy girl or you could got wear it. it to a Raven Festival. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good question. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> no Coachella this year. Yeah. <laughs> People are so. I was gonna say, is there a Virchella? (laughs) What are people doing? I don't understand. (laughs) During that time, getting dressed up and raving. I'm sure. I'm sure someone did. Like during that time period, everyone literally (laughs) thought the world was going to end, and like you got so many people who are like, "Let me go on Etsy." (laughs) It's like Etsy's like your first. (laughs) Like, why are you thinking about buying? Right. That's how people are. Then you know you got you got to supply and meet the demand. It was crazy. Yeah, some people buying toilet paper. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, a lot of people are making bank selling like toilet paper earrings and like crazy stuff. Oh, still are. Yeah, I was just gonna say, did you did you consider maybe dabbling into that that like pandemic? So, uh, me- yeah, like in the masks. beginning, Etsy Etsy cracked down hard. They were not allowing any sort of like you couldn't mention COVID, you couldn't mention quarantine, mm-hmm. you couldn't mention anything. Uh, they were removing shops entirely for it. So I was like, I'm saying. Mm -hmm. way far away from that um i don't know i think they've kind of relaxed on those guidelines at this point but yeah i i didn't want to risk it and the masks are pretty in are are they still in high demand on on etsy definitely not like they were um i think that really fell off when people or the big box stores started getting them in really cheap Mm -hmm. but in the beginning who etsy was the place for masks that was wild Yeah, yeah that makes sense um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit, uh, Brittany, about marketing. So you mentioned it doesn't take much money to get started. Like you can you can go on Etsy um, and pretty much create your shop for free and then link with one of the, the print on demand channels.